had to do a little work on these gears here. They were bent. Uh, I took a couple of pictures of them, both of these sets. So we got them in there now, and uh, that's just the eccentric nut. But we got this cover fixed up here. The bushing in there is straightened out now, so those are meshing pretty good right now. I had all of this back together and uh, couldn't get the pulley on. Once all this is in here, the pulley won't go on. So thought I'd film all this going back together. Pulley's on there now. It's not tight. It's just on there, so we have it on there. We can adjust that position later. So, let's try this again. This guy goes on. I'm not sure the orientation of that, where that needs to be. So I'm going to keep it vertical at this point. And this is a retaining ring. This is actually called the bearing plate according to the manual. These little screws are a little too small for my fingers. that on. Next we're going to put the gear on. This collar. This is the uh, gear that drives the uh, indexing unit. And it's got a rod that goes on the back of it. I'm not 100% sure where, where that ends up at this point. right now. And this cover goes on, it's doweled.
tight. And then this. This goes in, and I believe what happens is this allows, when you have this loose, it allows you to adjust the stroke. And then once you have it set, you take that up. And then you can't change it anymore. That's pretty much how it goes together. Pretty simple. So th this ram lever here, um, it's got a plate on it, and I pulled it apart, I'm not sure if you can see it, but this is all, this plate, this back side, this plate is all scored, and uh, what it is, is this, this block fits inside of there, and this runs up and down as the crank gear turns gives your stroke and I'm not sure I think this is original this looks like some sort of repair this pin was too long and it was digging in to this plate so I just uh, threw it up on the surface grinder and took uh, I don't know I think close to 20 thou off that face. So now, this goes inside here. There's no contact. So we've got that plate fits in there. Just adjust the stroke. I haven't got it attached yet, so let's jam it up there a little. Let's get the let's get the plates on there first. Appears that this was a repair of some sort. There was there's two oil holes, one on either side. That uh, looks like it might have been some sort of a, uh, like a bushing and a, and a pin in there originally. I'm trying to snug these up right now and then make sure everything moves.
Tighten those up. What I think was happening, the, uh, the locking knob on the where, the, where you adjust was tight. So you can see the pin's not moving. So that's actually would be no stroke whatsoever. And then as you move that pin, the stroke gets further and further. So the uh, the ram arm is in there now, and uh, I got it. Uh, dialed out a little bit so you can see how that action works with a stroke. I haven't, we haven't got that top pin yet to the, uh, to the actual ram so the motion is not quite what it will be in the running state. But. So the ram has a couple of adjustments one is with obviously the stroke but then um, this gear here and this guy here through that shaft adjust the position of the ram um, like the start and the finish I think of the position so as I was pulling it apart I was struggling to get this this system all out and now that I've uh, had it apart and uh, had a good look at it. Uh, found the uh, the easy solution for putting it back together. So this is the uh, top. This would be the, uh, the adjustment, and uh, you won't be able to see it. But down inside of there, and using uh, like a jam nut system here, I can back this screw out and get it aligned with um, that bevel gear. And then this, I believe, is the axis to drive the pin in and out. Um, so that's what uh, that's how it's going to go back together. Gib adjusted and on the top butt. Uh, I'll, call them, I'll call them a keeper, I guess. Seems to be pretty smooth right now. Huh? 